Hi everyone, thanks very much for the introduction. There was one fairly major error, however. Callum can't actually be here this evening. Sorry to disappoint. I'm here as a replacement. My name is Corti. That's short for Cortisol. Unlike Callum, who's an unimportant human man, I'm an extremely important stress hormone, probably the major stress hormone in the human body. Now, despite my importance, I suspect most of you don't know much about me. Well, that's all about to change. Now, I'm a busy hormone, I've got three minutes, so let's get straight to business, shall we? I'm here to stress to you the importance of not stressing, okay? And you know why I need to do that? Because when you stress, I'm the one that has to go to work. And all that work is starting to make me feel pretty stressed. Let me start by talking you through a standard nine to five day in the office for cortisol. One of you gets stressed. That starts as a signal in the head office. Sorry, that's the hypothalamus in your brain. That signal is then wired via your pituitary gland down to my offices in the adrenal glands, just on top of the kidneys. Now, I share this office with the world-famous adrenaline, a cocky little hormone who's built up a brand for himself as the fight or flight hormone. <laughs> he gets to be first on the scene during stress, okay, making your heart pound, your airways open up, and your pupils dilate. These things are all great short-term preparation, but someone's got to have their eye on the long game, and that's my job, okay? I'm out in the bloodstream just after facilitating the slower effects of stress. Now, travel is a major perk of my job, one of the few. I get to work in most major organs, okay? So for example, I'm in your liver, breaking down energy stores just to, to build up blood glucose for those muscles of yours. I'm in your kidneys and your blood vessels, where I raise blood pressure to help your heart pump out more blood faster. I suppress inflammation in case you get injured whilst you're stressed. And I'm in your gonads, where I inhibit reproductive function. <laughs> Because sex isn't going to help you solve a stressful problem. <laughs> okay, I do all these things because I'm trying to help you, okay? Adrenaline and I, we evolved so that your prehistoric ancestors could escape from predators. I don't know if you've noticed, but there's not that many predators around nowadays. And in fact, most of you are more at risk from your own psychosocial stresses. I'm talking about things like worrying about your workload, your bank balance, or your uh, relationship status. All these things mean that I am having to work overtime. And like anyone else, when I'm overworked, I start to make mistakes. So for example, if I'm raising your blood sugar the whole time, you're going to be at risk of diabetes, and I'm going to get hate mail from insulin, who works over in the pancreas. <laughs> if I'm forever raising your blood pressure, that's going to put strain on your, on your heart and your vessels, isn't it? Oh, don't even get me started on the problem I cause in your gonads. Trust me, stress hormones are a buzzkill in the bedroom. So all I'm saying is, next time you feel yourself getting stressed, spare a thought for the stressed stress hormones and relax. Thanks very much.